Hey my friends! Well it's been a little while. I just landed back in Boulder Saturday night and it's interesting my trip over the past five weeks was so rich and so moving on many levels that I found myself pretty ungrounded in this very grounded mountain place. So I've been slowly settling in. Last night was the first night I had this really great awesome long night's sleep and I felt incredibly blessed to even be able to have that time to give myself to not set the alarm. Do you have days like that where you don't have to set the alarm? Because it's nice to have days when you set the alarm because you're eager about what you're doing and it's nice to have days when you don't set the alarm and see exactly what your body wants to do. Well do you know I slept until 10 a.m. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Anyway, so my question for you today is something that I've been reflecting on. On Sunday morning, I went to a, a dance called, it's an ecstatic type of dance called Movement Mass. And there's always a theme. And one of the ending songs had this repeating phrase in it. You'll be known by the company you keep. You'll be known by the company you keep. And as I was dancing in a sea of about 200 other people, I was really moved. A lot of those people I did not know, but all of them I could feel their vulnerability in being there in that dance because it's expressive dance. You're just doing whatever you feel like doing. And their courage and their playfulness and spunkiness to be living a life that's out of the box. But that phrase took me further. The phrase took me to the deep soul desire I have that the company I keep will be the heart of every human being. That when I end my life, and hopefully even sooner than that, I will find that there is not one human being that does not find a place in my own heart. And whether I know them personally or not, whether I agree with them personally or not, it will not pose a division to them being the company that I keep. It moved me to tears on Sunday and I recounted it to a friend last night and it moved me again. And it's got me reflecting today. First of all, when you hear the phrase, you'll be known by the company you keep, what does it evoke in you right now? There's no right or wrong. My aspiration doesn't need to be your aspiration. We are all very unique creatures meant to populate and celebrate and be gifted in this life in a wide variety of ways. So I get kind of interested, what does the phrase mean to you? You can share it with me and you don't have to share it with me. You can just keep it within your own reflection. But phrases like this also give another opportunity. Once you can name how you would answer what that means for you, what really stirs within you in a way that you're moving into it and you don't realize it yet. You don't have that yet. So when you recognize that, then recognize why would I answer that way? What is underlying the naming of that aspiration to that phrase? Is it an event that happened in your life? Is it a relationship that you have or a constellation of relationships? Is it something having to do with your career or your life path? Is it a memory that still works its magic within you and stirs you on or sparks you on? What underlies the aspiration? You know what's kind of fun about giving a moment to reflect on that? Is that in that very naming it to yourself unleashes a whole other perspective. It softens up the stressors of the day. It moves you away from what may be distracting you for a moment and it gives you a chance to drink at the oasis, the oasis that is right at the center of your being. So what inspires that aspiration for me that every human being would find a place in my heart? I'm like a broken record on this one. It's because ever since I was little I felt connected with everybody, regardless of whether I felt supported or not supported, loved or not loved. 
that connection's always been there. And there's something about that feeling connected with every human being that makes me happy in my life. Whether it reaps a reward of direct bonding and belonging, or whether it simply gets me in touch with the blessing and the gift I feel of loving connectivity. So in that way, I'm very, very, very feminine, all about the relationship and the belonging. But it's a steady current that moves me even into the willingness to touch on my own comfort zones. I would rather be shaken up to realize a greater connection with someone beyond the ideas of what I want or what I think I am, then I would want to hold fast and be divided from another. So what do you think? Here are the two questions again. First, what is evoked when you hear the phrase, you will be known by the company you keep? And second, what underlies the way that you answer that question? Have a great day. Great to be with you. Bye.